Ready to try another fun activity about momentum? Have you ever been at the park and spun around on a swing set? Or have you ever wondered how figure skaters make those turns? We can demonstrate that activity at home. All you'll need is a spinning chair and a couple of small weights or heavy books. I'm gonna be using a couple of jugs filled with water. Set up your spinning chair in the middle of the room. Be sure you can sit safely and spin without hitting anything with your arms outstretched. Hey, before you get started, make sure that you're using your rolling chair on a carpeted floor. Your wheels need to stay still, not moving. When you're sitting in your chair like this, you're gonna grab your weights or books and hold them out straight. Now, you'll kick off the ground and you'll start spinning. Pay attention to how your body feels as you spin. You may have to kick off more than once. Next, you're going to spin again, but you'll start with your arms out, then you'll bring your weights or books or my water bottles in closer to your body. Pay close attention to how your body feels when you go into your spin and make sure you're spinning kind of quickly. It might not look like it, but that felt a lot faster. Let's take a closer look at the science. We talked about angular momentum when we made the disco twirler. Instead of an object moving fast in a straight line, angular momentum refers to the physics of a fast moving spinning object, like your spinny chair or a planet. Moment of inertia is both the mass of an object and how far the mass is from its axis or midpoint. In this activity, that's the midsection of your body. When you bring the weights in closer to your torso, their mass will be brought in closer to the middle of your body, and that will make the rate of spinning speed up. Try this activity again, but this time start with your arms tucked in close to your body and carefully extend them out straight. What do you think will happen? Will you speed up or slow down? To make this an even cooler experiment, use the ruler from your science kit to measure your arms. Then time your rate of speed. Compare your results with a friend or your favorite grown-up. Do you think the length of a person's arms impacts their speed when they spin? And if you need a ruler, you can find one in our free science kits. To get one, go to scienceworksmuseum.org or click the link in the description below. See you next time.